Good morning! Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are in the workshop. I won't say the barn, but now it's called the workshop. And that's kind of the garage. So, yeah, we want to fully redecorate the workshop. Not redecorate, it's not a decoration. Redesign it, because it is working really well. It is good, but it is still quite messy. And uh, when we first designed it, it was amazing. Much better than nothing. But now it's starting to clog up and things don't have the correct places. It was kind of random a bitty. So we want to kind of start organizing each thing. I want to start having proper floor. Maybe we're going to lay a concrete layer on top. Since it's not leaving the workshop for a while, we do need kind of a good floor. And it is quite wet. A lot of spots are wet. The moisture is coming up. The concrete that's in here is not uh, waterproof at all. And overall it's pretty bad concrete. So it is just letting moisture up. And then we want to fix the doorway, we want to make proper gate there, we want to start working on the garage side. Also need floor there, a window. There's so much to do. But in this video we're going to get started and redesign our drilling place. And we're going to set up some brand new tool we got. We're going to reveal that a bit later. But first, we're going to get started with the old desk. The old desk for drilling is way too low, way too much in the corner. We want to put a welding station there with a metal table. So we're going to move that over to this side where the uh, woods are, the pallet of woods. So we're going to get started, clear that up and start bringing things around. So yeah, let's get started. It is all done as you can see, a really nice desk. We have to change these light bulbs to LED and a bit brighter versions. These are halogen lights, so with the gas they're pretty uneconomical. They're using a lot of power and producing a lot of heat. Um, so yeah, these ones are no good, and but they do give brightness for now for drilling and for doing something on the table. Much better, I extended the table as you saw, so now it's a perfect height. Uh, I, I like it a bit taller, but for drilling this is a good height. If it's too high, you know it's not, not that nice. We're planning to go to the market, so maybe I will look for a drill press. I do want a proper drill press, but uh, I am really picky and I have a low budget. So yeah, it's going to be a hard one to find. But I do want a new drill press. This is kind of not working the best. I want much bigger drills um, and a bit sturdier, straighter drill. So that's a, a future plan. As you saw, I made this drill collector. For now, it goes only till 13. Um, but I don't have much more than 13. And this one cannot accept 13 millimeters. More than that. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the exciting thing, which is sponsored by Vevor. I think I need to put it on the floor. So here it is. An amazing tool. 
has arrived from Vevor. It's a tiny little bandsaw, and uh, I don't know if this one I think is portable. So, but we're probably gonna bolt it down, or actually maybe it doesn't need bolting down. So you can actually portable it around wherever you need it and use it. So this is an amazing tool that's gonna cut things straight. Remember when I made that little weird thing, if you saw, for the wheels, for this thing? Yeah, I used some weird contraption. This thing can do it amazingly, so it can cut things straight. So it cuts the pipe perfectly straight and you can do every angle in uh, that way and also sideways. So this is gonna solve a lot of problems. It can do also I think wood, plastic, everything but uh, mostly we got it for metal, for wood we have and uh, yeah plastic I guess it could cut also really nicely and uh, you know without making any uh, shavings like uh, melted shavings and the thing about this cutting of metal is that it does not produce sparks it's so much more nicer for the workshop less dust it's just so much better so yeah let's set it up and probably gonna give it a test piece which is actually gonna be for that project which is gonna do a test cut and see how it comes out so yeah let's get started <laughs> was quite a heavy metal for it and uh, it was not the fastest cutting the worst thing uh, I mean it's not a bad thing but it's like kind of something I got used to when I was working as an engineer is automatic going down and uh, yeah you don't need to do anything automatic cooling this one doesn't says no adding oil I added oil and straight away the belts are slipping off so not made to add oil it barely got warm so it's not like those big cutters that I had at work that were going very fast and uh, they needed cooling. This one is cutting more slower and uh, will take its time and will not get as hot. It uh, has no shavings. The shavings, it has shavings but they don't go anywhere. Just like tiny radius around the metal you would never even get it in your eyeball. But of course suggested to wear glasses just for the sake of things breaking. But uh, other than that it cuts really good. Let's try it on on something else. Let's cut it, uh, cut a pipe and then we're gonna try out some other materials. So yeah, this was a heavy duty one but this is for the project. Well that was a lot faster so clearly it was the old rail is just really hard to cut. This cuts like no problem, just a basic pipe. Cuts really fast. Let's now try wood. I guess we could try as well because it does say you can cut wood or plastic. I mean it's a blade. It's not gonna have a trouble cutting wood if it can cut metal. So let's just try a piece of wood. So this it cuts really good, amazing and straight, but our saw can do this. What our saw can't do, because it's a giant blade, it's very destructive, it cannot cut small circles. That's when I want small circles from uh, trees, so she can make little decorations. So let's yeah, get one of those. Yeah, I want from branches, I want to make like small circles, like kind of like ornaments, I wonder for... As you saw, yeah, for Christmas we made those. So it works perfect, made perfect little circles and it cuts really straight. If I cut them uh, a bit slower it would also not have these lines because I'm cutting fast but you can do it slower and you would have it much smoother uh, or you just throw it on sandpaper and you're done. I could cut them a bit bigger and throw them on sandpaper but how precisely straight it cuts them that's a good thing. So and skinny, extremely yeah, skinny. Extreme, you could probably even go skinnier than that. Uh, we were doing it with the hand saw in theory this is like an upgraded version of 
this which we paid five euros for I think in a store um, but of course this takes a lot of power I think it takes like five minutes to cut one of those maybe the blade on it is not the best but it there it looks sharp uh, but yeah this is quite a slow version more uh, manpower required and I don't think this cuts metal very good I'm not sure exactly what the blade is for but possibly I don't know I just got it in a thrift store it was all falling apart I fixed it and it works good but for now we don't need it we have this one so that's kind of an upgraded version I mean, I don't really know if you can, like, if you even if you want to sit to cut metal with that, like, with a hand going up and down. <laughs> I'm back in the day. I'm back in the day, Before. though, not a lot of time. We yeah. don't have a lot of time. So, yeah. Works amazing. I let's don't know. What else? try plastic, I guess? Oh, yeah, let's try plastic. So, I didn't want to destroy any of our pipes, because our pipes have connections, and uh, you don't want to destroy them. And they're good pipes. So, I found this one laying around, and I don't have a use for it. I don't have the cork. So I want to see if I can cut this off and have it as a square tray. So yeah, this is going to be a good test because it is pretty fluffy uh, plastic. And if it can cut this one good, it can create a lot of repurposing uses where you can repurpose a lot of things and just give them kind of a second life. So let's see. Plus you said as well for cons, we could also cut cons together or cut the tops of the cons, yeah. like the short part or any of that. So we could do some crafts maybe. <laughs> So it can definitely do plastic, uh, this is really soft plastic, so it was quite of a challenge to cut it, it was bending, and you cannot really clump it down very well, so I had to hold it kind of by my hand at the end, but it definitely did cut it, and uh, you know, now I can use it for something, uh, I'm not really sure, but it is more better than having a cork, because the cork limits you from how much you can put in, now it's much easier to put in and to take out, so yeah, now it's more useful, and uh, that's waste, so yeah. Or you can put it on something and have a cork for something which I'm missing. So yeah, anyways, so yeah, it can cut various different type of things. I really like it. Um, that's kind of a good addition to the workshop. Next up we need a drill, a uh, drill press, and then we need a lathe as well. Lathe uh, is not needed, but I always wanted one. Um, I loved using it at work. I use it consistently. I love making things on lathe. It's so many things I could work for my projects. So I'm slowly upgrading where I can do a, lo a lot of things by myself in a better quality. Right now I'm kind of skipping or looking for alternatives just because I don't have the proper tools to do jobs. I really love the machine, it's really cool. I can't wait to use it more on the projects. You'll see it, of course, all in all our projects. But thanks again to Vevor for sending it to us. You can check out the link down in below in the description and you can check out the machine for yourself if you ever need one. It's perfect size for a small workshop, for a barn, for a garage, and also I love the fact that you can just take it, throw it in your car, and bring it to a friend's place bring it to your workplace and cut things with it. Cut metals, cut pipes, cut conduits for uh, metal tubes, for wires. You can cut a lot of things and it's gonna be a lot less sparks than an angle grinder, I think, for a lot of working uh, scenarios. I would imagine this would be a lot better where you do not want sparks all over the place and angle grinders do not cut straight. This will cut straight unless you have a perfect eye. So, finally this corner is organized, it has its purpose, uh, before it was just kind of like let's dump things here, what we don't need right now, it was not really being used for any purpose, and here was just a giant pile of wood which can definitely leave and go somewhere else, because that space can now be used for drilling, that's really amazing. That opens me up the other corner which was also not used, this desk was too low, the drill was not practical, I was just using hand power, the, the battery power drill. And now I can use this one, because this one does definitely drill more straight and more easier, because you have the pressure. But of course, let's upgrade one day to the drill press. Hopefully, we can get that one day. But yeah, uh, this has been a fun one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and we're going to see you next time. Bye-bye. A bit of switching around, because we're going to have a lot of babies. So enjoy this video before we get full-on baby mode.